Chapter 2, The King in Yellow Approaches I have a feeling the King in Yellow is that girl who arrived The King in Yellow Approaches Oh, okay I wasn't expecting that Um, I have a feeling that this chapter is about that girl who arrived at our porch When we had, uh, Cthulhu in our bed In a world terror terrorized by slavering shadows and tentacled nightmares Something as innocuous as an additional star in the night sky may be the most prophetic premonition of doom. For wherever the lurid golden light of the planet Carcosa shines, the long, wicked shadow of the King in Yellow is cast. Behind that mask lie echoes of decadence and disorder Masquerades of limitless cruelty and hideous laughter in equal parts. And of all the poor devils seduced by the lavish promises of the God King's court, the favored victims of the King's sadistic amusement are followers belonging to other deities. Huh? What? Where? Huh? Did I zone out? I was. What was I doing? Dang, I'm having one heck of a brain fart right now. I can't remember for the life of me what I'm supposed to be doing. Everything feels so hazy. Was I going to work? I am standing outside after all. Yeah, that's gotta be it. The sun is setting, so it's probably around 7 p.m., which means I'm gonna be crazy late fantastic. That's the beauty of working nights. I can't use the excuse that I overslept. Yeah, boss, I slept all day. Sun up to sundown. That's why I'm late. Six hours early for my shift. That's why I'm six hours early for my shift, huh? Those sound like the church's noontime bells in it's high noon. No way. They must be doing some special evening service or something. I can clearly see that it's golden hour right before sunset. Ooh! Oh my God! Look at the, the way the shadow casts right here from the the sun. That is so amazing. Oh my God! I love that. I love that. I'll just have to ask someone for the time on my way to work. If it's not too late, and I really hoof it, I'll just get chewed out instead of fired. I'm still. I'll still have to deal with my with being sweaty. But I'll figure that out when I get there. Who the heck is that? They're all bloodied and everything. Oh, someone's coming home. Perfect. Fingers crossed that I'm not absolutely screwed. Hey, man. Sorry to bother you. You wouldn't happen to have the time on you, would you? <laughs> They're not responding. Hello? Hey. Uh, hey. Hmm. Is this guy ignoring me? Normally, I'd say whatever. And walk away, but he's unfortunately standing in the only stairway off this floor. The only way to exit this com conversation is to shove past him, but this guy is giving me such weird vibes, I don't want to go anywhere near him. The longer I look at him, this guy seems more and more suspicious. The that odd posture, he's slowly swaying in an uncanny, disturbing way. The collar of his shirt looks filthy, stained with splotches of deep browns and reds. Is he bleeding? Does he even live here? This is the top floor and I thought I've met all of my neighbors. There are only four apartments up here. My only choices are to go inside and call the police or to walk past this freaky guy. I don't have the time to wait around for when the cops show up, so I'll... But, I'll, but just as I take a step, I kick something weighty with my shoes. It's bright pink with gold accents. A book. What? L Lynetta? But I died. The world ended. The shock. Oh my god, there's more people. The shock freezes me in place. And because I was so distracted, I didn't even notice the. I duck inside my room, slamming the door in the suspicious man's face. Men's face. There was more than one. Fumbling with the lock in a panic, I managed to turn the deadbolt. I take a few fearful steps back into the room, clutching the book to my beating chest. 
Why did the sound just go out completely? I died. I definitely died when I performed the final ritual. So why am I still here? Where is here? There's a new mask. Locked in my room. I have nowhere to run. Oh my god, what's this? That looks so cool. Oh my goodness. Lenetta! Lenetta! If Lenetta was here, she could explain this. Maybe there's something in this book that can save me. I need to hurry. Come on, come on, Lenetta, where are you? Lenetta, huh? Who is this Lenetta you're trying to call? Oh, it's that girl, that rich girl. Missy, w what are you doing in my room? I just so happened to overhear you saying, Lynetta, where are you? You sounded like you were in trouble, so I let myself in. She must be the yellow queen, the yellow king. How did, how, how did you even get in here? Your window is open. You climbed through a window. Oh my god, isn't there like a balcony there and like no stairway or anything there? Huh? No, it's not. And either way, I'm on the top floor, so how did you- Lynetta sounds like a girl's name, right? This Lynetta is obviously the girl you stood me up for, isn't she? Oh my goodness. I, I, I hit it spot on. I was thinking- Oh, I like the light around her. I was thinking she was uh, gonna be it. What is her deal? I knew she'd be pissed I slammed that door in her face, but not so much that- so much show that she wouldn't notice any of the things obviously wrong here. Why doesn't she care about those freaky things stalking me outside? Or that my room is full of evil idols and ritualistic tokens? I can explain all this stuff. Let me guess. Accursed devices <clears throat> used to channel eldritch magics and do the bidding of outer gods. Oh, exactly that. Wow, you're spot on. Well, yeah, uh, exactly right. Did you just randomly guess that? No. I've just been playing coy. I know exactly what you've been doing. Really? You know what this is, don't you? Ooh, a new book? A new love book? It, it's a golden version of my book, the book I used to perform rituals for Lynetta. Her, hers look way more ornate than mine. Considering I ended reality with mine, I can't imagine how dangerous hers must be. Wait a minute. The sky, that suspicious man outside, they all match missy's book do they is she making all of this happen oh god when i expected her to do something crazy i thought she was just gonna show up with a hatchet or something nope she showed up with a book missy look i'm sorry i just got wrapped up in something please don't sorry you're sorry why are you acting so afraid of me she's terrifying right now <laughs> Not really, I bet it's capable of something else, but destroying the world probably. I know all too well, but I also know that these incantations take at least five seconds to pronounce and that's if she gets it right on the first try. So worst case, I have five seconds to stop her. If I dash for my ritual knife behind her, I might be able to kill her before she does something terrible to me. If I can distract her, I might be able to buy myself more time. Missy, look, I'll do whatever you want. Anything? I can be rather demanding. Name your price. So bold. Ooh. In that case, I have three commands. Commands? Number one, you'll address me as Your Highness from now on. Your Highness. So when I come home, it's welcome home, Your Highness. Come home? You're gonna keep coming to my household? When she comes home, she wants to move in? But that means, whatever, it's not like I'm going to have to actually follow through on these. At least one of us is about to die. As you wish, your highness, what else? Number two, you'll quit your job so you can spend every waking moment catering to me. You're one and only. Really? So that's a new, new job in, in and of itself. Sure, whatever. Just a little bit more until I'm in sprinting range of the knife. And number three, you'll obey every order and whim I have, absolutely, without question. How is that? You told me three commands, and then you're gonna say every command? 
that you give? That's you ridiculous. My terms? That is ridiculous. Absolutely. Why? Absolutely. What? Absolutely, your highness. <laughs> I suppose if you will do whatever I ask, then there's no need to use any of these dreadful spells on you. Yeah, thank you. As a matter of fact, I believe you can help me with them. Here. You're giving me the book? She just handed over her book without a second thought. Yellow energy pulses and crackles from my fingertips. She is she not here to hurt me? Hmm, confused. I've liked you for a long time, and you're a capable bookkeeper. Handsome to build. Oh, she thinks I'm handsome. No we can't simply work together. <laughs> After all, a relationship based on threats of violence and fear is no good, right? That's that's correct. That's right. Right. <laughs> we narrowly escaped with our lives just now. But something is bothering me. How does she remember that I stood her up in the reality that ended under Lanetta's awakening? And how did she get in through my window? I doubt she was able to climb several stories dressed like that. And then pass through my locked window without breaking it. There's only one possible answer. All right, your highness. I'm ready to enter my lifetime of servitude to you. I just have one small request first. Being? Could you tell me what this is? Huh? Your Worcestershire sauce? What about it? That she knows how to pronounce it? <laughs> So, you're an Eldritch God disguised as a human. Are you serious? This sauce? <laughs> Worcester sauce? Is what determines if they're Eldritch God or not? That is so dumb. <laughs> what? How did you figure that out so suddenly? Uh. Her eye patch switched over. Isn't it obvious? No human being can pronounce Worch. Worch. Where? Worcestershire. Of course not. It's an eldritch loan word. Why else would it be spelled like that? <laughs> <sighs> I was careless. After all this time, I wasted trying to seduce you in this slovenly form. Ooh. Yeah, you should have tried using your eldritch form instead. I would have fallen in love immediately. <laughs> what? 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 You think... Cosmic entities are attractive as a human. Ooh. <laughs> 3D women are fine, but fourth dimensional girls with non Euclidean geometry are smoking. <laughs> smoking. <laughs> They've got curves I can literally get lost in. <laughs> oh my gosh. My cosmic godhood, I would have just led with that. Oh, yeah. You gonna show me? Charmed, I'm sure. She's not bad looking. She's gorgeous. A bona fide Eldritch, Eldritch King in my room. Oh man, all my fantasies of smooching and Eldritch horror are coming true. An Eldritch royalty to boot. The King of in Yellow sounds familiar. I can't remember why. My memory of my other existence is kind of fuzzy. What I do remember is that her followers tend to be incredibly violent towards Cotis, loyal to other gods. Ah, so I was loyal to Lanetta. That's why they're trying to kill me. <laughs> L like Lanetta. Crap. I kind of got swept up in the moment and almost forgot. I already pledged fealty to a different god. This reality is this reality or not. Ah, wait. I'm sorry, I'm already involved with another god. I'm following Lanetta. I know, so loyal, so faithful and devoted. That's why I want you to be my follower instead. Oh. In exchange for serving me, I shall grant you anything you desire. Wealth, power, whatever that rotten witch Lanetta offered you, I can double it. Ooh. Will I have a more pleasant time in, in a less scary world with you? She promised me a smooch. Then I shall... What, what, what? <laughs> gonna smooch me you too? You handed over your reality to her? For a singular smooch? Are you mad? <laughs> you, 
You heard me. So you'll match her offer then. <laughs> I, I suppose if that's all you're selling the world for, then a smooch can be uh, arranged. That this is crazy. They what gives me the authority to sell our world? <laughs> like okay, you. I, I'm getting a kiss from you guys just so that I can sell the world into destruction and to your servitude. No way. You promised to double it. That's two smooches. Two smooches. Uh, hold on a minute. <laughs> two of them on the lips. All right, all right. Very well. Two smooches, lip to lips. Satisfied? Oh, yeah. <laughs> I just. Usually, my followers ask for inordinate wealth, unquestionable fame, and influence, or some lavish indulgence. So you're saying they're all just pretty greedy people. Nobody's ever dared to ask to kiss me before, so... Oh, is this gonna be your first kiss? She's blushing for real. You really want to smooch me? Oh, well, yeah. <clears throat> your terms are amenable. Suffice it to say, I'll expect you to perform your scenes flawlessly in exchange. Uh, I'll try. I know in the last one with Lynetta, I messed up a lot. Scenes? The prompt book I gave you contains the script for The King in Yellow. Okay, so I'm doing a little play for you? Huh, you mean this spell book that I was so afraid of? It's just a... A play? This thing is just a playbook. Where are all the power invoking rituals? Rituals? Is this some sort of peasant joke that I'm too rich to understand? Oh my gosh. <laughs> no, we aren't barbaric swamp folk casting hocus pocus in a cave. We have a little class. To invoke my power, my play must be performed perfectly. Oh. Let's do this. Perfectly? I don't always get these ritual, er, uh, I mean, scenes right the first time. What happens if I botch my lines or set a wrong Your scene, a scene will wrong? Your scathing review in the Carcosan Times publication, and you'll also be killed. <laughs> of course. Uh, <laughs> I'm getting those, those smooches no, no matter what. Break a leg, dearest. Ah! This is interesting. All right, I just need to see. Oh! Oh, that's cute. Just standing there at the window. So I still got my robe. I still got this mask. Just want to see if there's any changes. No changes. Before I wear that, I just want to see what's this. The King in Yellow. Act 1, Invitation. Setting, Exterior, and View of City. Host. Click and drag the first word of the line. First line. Slowly. Greetings, stranger. Fortune, fellow. So this is... Okay, this is... I'm the host. Exterior and view of city. So the, the thing is open. King enters disguised. Shadows lengthen, dim street, darken... Wait. Okay. Host. Oh my god, this is a literal play. This is going to be confusing. All right, I'm guessing. All right. Setting exterior in view of city. So. Exterior. In view of city. Greetings, stranger. Fortune fellow, tis a party for which. Greetings, stranger. Fortune fellow, tis a party for which I bellow. I invite the king in yellow. So come all ye in. Ye tell. Wear thine mask upon you to my masquerade until he may come to loss. Ye tell. Hope for us there may be still. Shadows lengthen, dim streets darken. To the curfew thou must hearken. Why so loudly dost thou bark in the dim city of Ye tell? Ye tell. Oh my god, this is weird! <laughs> Much attention, quite unwholesome, you'll instill from the souls of poor Yatil. Why attract so much ill will? This is so weird. <laughs> okay, she comes disguised. Host, that is just what I must seek. See hidden somewhere amongst the the meekly. 
Tis one invitee I seek he. He shall all my mistakes undo. Tis the king in yellow whose great wealth I shall occur. When his shadow passes through, wealth will come to I and you. Lo, your plans shall surely languish, and this whole town will know anguish for the king is whom they say, which shall this city indeed smite. If he comes, you tell him you and I will know his might. I'll be lost within a night. What reward is worth that price? Okay. My turn again. Wearing this expensive clothing, pardon from my family's loathing, lasting till I am decomposing all my friends whom strife I've caused. Yes, preparing for this night, their forgiveness is the cause. They shall be a proud, uh, be proud because I had brought the king to us. Fantastic! Fantastic! Bravo! Simply splendid! Thank you. Thank you so much. Why, thank you. That was actually pretty fun. I haven't gotten to flex my acting chops since high school. You're no stranger to the stage. I can tell. <laughs> yeah, I was a theater kid. My school did Macbeth. <laughs> what a weirdo. <laughs> oh. A virtuoso of the bard, are we? If you perform Shakespeare, then you must be an actor of sufficient ability to survive my play. Oh, I hope so. I hope so. <laughs> Tell me, what role were you? The leading man, I presume. Not at all. I was tree number four. <laughs> I wasn't aware that was a role. Yeah. It's not. You weren't even the leading tree? Not at all. Haha, <laughs> don't worry, I was actually Macbeth. I thought you said you were a tree. I was kidding! Acting. Oh, you are good. <laughs> Whoa, hey, what's happening to you? Don't fret, dearest. Something is simply passing between my planet's light and your bedroom. A cloud, perhaps. So a mere cloud can can make you disappear? Wherever the golden light of Carcosa shines, the shadow of the unspeakable one is cast. It's a literal rule. Huh. I can only be wherever the light of my planet star Carcosa shines. Interesting. In other words, I can't reach you at night when you're not standing in natural light or if anything obstructs your view of Carcosa. How were you in my room? If I closed the window, would you have disappeared? That explains why Missy had a weird daytime curfew. She'd literally vanish when the sun sets. What a Cinderella-like curse. That also explains how she got in my room. My window may have been locked, but the curtains were open, allowing the light in. So she can't get into my room if I close my curtains. Aww, I was quite enjoying my time with you. I wanted to stay a little longer. Oh. Alas, parting is such sweet sorrow. It may be some time until your sky clears. Until then, I bid you adieu. Adieu. Oh, kiss on the forehead? Ooh. Oh. Your nails are really long. She's gone. And I'm late for work, huh? Well, looks like I have one heck of a choice to make. Lanetta hasn't been summoned yet. And Esther is stuck outside for the moment, so I have a moment to collect my thoughts. Between Lanetta and Esther, who do I want to smooch? Or maybe, more accurately, who am I more afraid of? Huh. Do I stay with Lanetta or do I follow Esther this time around? Is she is offering twice as many smooches after all. <clears throat> They're literally making me choose between Lanetta and Missy. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. I need to make my choice. If I want to stay with Lanetta, then I should focus on casting spells from her book. If I want to smooch Esther, then I should open my window again when the clouds clear and use Esther's book. And if I try going for both, 
well, walking down the middle of, of the road is bound to get me run over. <clears throat> as long as they aren't both in the room at the same time, I should be safe, right? There's a choice to try to date them both. I That's a crazy choice. Oh man, what am I going to do? Either way, I need to talk to Lynetta. She might be an avatar of world-ending calamity, but she might be able to help get me get my head straight. Speaking of my head, why does my forehead feel kind of sticky? She just kissed my forehead. Do I not remember that? Do I not remember that? This is going to be interesting. Close these. Turn those off. Turn that off. Turn that off. My necklace. And then chant. Mortal, for what purpose have you? Darling, it's you! <laughs> yes, it is. Hey, Lynetta. It's nice to see her despite everything I've been through so far. Sure, she may be, have ended the reality I was from, but she never lied or deceived me in any way. She told me up front that would happen, and I did it willingly. That said, I'm really glad you're here, but can you tell me what happened to me to the world we di dated in? That reality fell to me. Nothing there exists anymore. Like a dream that ends. Oh. It was destroyed. Just as I thought. Only. Then why am I still here? Why did I survive when the rest of that reality didn't? Oh, darling. Don't make me say it. It's embarrassing. Oh. Tell me. You're still here because I'm... You're what? I'm still dreaming about you. Oh. Cause I'm dreaming. <laughs> Everything in existence is being dreamed about by at least one Eldritch God. So as long as you're on my mind, you'll exist somewhere. Oh, oh, oh! That was that great. That smooch that I gave you must have been amazing. <laughs> That's actually kind of sweet in a terrifying cosmic way. What will happen if every god stopped dreaming at the same time? What if you wake up all at once? Everything, including all of the gods, would cease to be. Oh! That is interesting. If all of you stopped dreaming at once and woke up, all of you die? So that means other gods are dreaming up other gods. That's what that would mean. And that can just happen at any time? Nah, don't worry. There's about 50 of us total. So the chances of all of us being awake at the same time are low. That would be amazing if they expand this game to have 50 Eldritch gods to date. <laughs> There's only like 50 of you in all. She probably knows Esnar very closely. Mm -hmm. Kind of a big family, huh? Huh. You call each other a family. Family, do, do you know Esther? Esther? Darling, I thought I told you not to mention other women while we're together. Oh my Especially goodness. Especially not my sister. <gasps> She's your sister? Oh my god! <laughs> S sister? Uh, I can't stand that prissy little boyfriend stealing. <gasps> Don't, uh, have a great relationship with her? Absolutely not! We've been fighting over planets <clears throat> and followers for eons! Stretch to call this nemesis. Oh. Oh, sibling rivalry. Hey, Thanksgiving dinner must be awkward, huh? Darling, what's that on your forehead? Oh my god, she can see it. What's what? It looks like a lipstick mark. That's not from another god, is it, darling? Uh, no, no not at all. Because if it is, well, you die here. But you'll still be dreaming of me, right? And then I'll come back? No way, did Esther leave a kiss mark on my face when she kissed me? I should have checked the mirror before I summoned Lynetta. It's a... It's what? Oh my god. Come on, man. Just... <laughs> just BS it. Say something. It's ritual paint. Ritual paint? Yeah. 
Yeah, it's one of the steps needed for your ritual. <laughs> oh, really? Yeah, yeah, yeah. You you know, the one in your, your book? Yeah. Which ritual? The, uh, it was here to summon you right now. Uh-oh. It's, it's a secret. I'm going to pretend that this lipstick mark came from a human girlfriend so that I can spare you. Oh, you're okay with uh, me having a human girlfriend? So I can have you and a human girlfriend? But from now on, if you contact another god, I swear I'll stop being so sweet. Okay? All right. You wouldn't care if I had a human girlfriend? Of course not. Why would I care about that? Interesting. When it's a race against other gods to amass as many followers as possible, expecting your followers to be celibate is a bad move. Interesting. For Grammy Roxanne, it's actually a requirement that you start a big family, or you get excommunicated from her following. Grammy? Grandma Roxanne? Oh, I'm sure you've heard of her. She's got the most followers out of any of us. She's the Black Goat of the Woods. Or the mother goddess of fertility. Black goat of the woods. That would be interesting to see in the future. A fertility goddess, you say? No funny ideas, mister. There's no telling what I'd do if you cheated on me with a family member. Oh my goodness. Uh -huh. Is Esther? Looks like the clouds haven't cleared yet. I won't be able to see her right now. If I wanted to. For now, I should work through Lynetta's spells again. Eldridge Hand saved my butt last time. I'll I better cast that one in case I'm unable to talk again. Sheesh, listen to myself. What the heck is wrong with me, man? She's in my bed. Darling, what's this I found under your bed? Oh my goodness! What is Oh, that's my Eldritch Encyclopedia. That doesn't look like an encyclopedia. This thing is blushing, too. I haven't translated it yet, but it that di its diagrams are useful. Oh, you studied it extensively, then. Uh, y yeah? I sense I've made some sort of mistake. Uh, I guess. Why? What's up? Darling, this is a dirty magazine. Is it? B what? Really? I thought it was an anatomical guidebook. This Slippery Shogoth Girlfriends Volume 3? I bet you can learn a lot of anatomy from this... curve. <laughs> I said I haven't translated it yet. How was I supposed to know? This girl on the front isn't wearing anything. She's topless. I can't tell. There's just ten tentacles and eyes and hair. Oh, wait. The bra is right there. Where's that bra go? Does it cover the eyes? That's a girl? It just looks like an amorphous mass of tentacles to me. Is this what you wish I looked like? Not at all. Not at all. You look good this way. That looks creepy. <laughs> I really, truly don't. Trust me. Look, Lynetta, you're smoking hot. <laughs> you're smoking. <laughs> smoking. <laughs> I could never have eyes for anyone else when I'm with you. When I'm with you. That's that's a way to say it. When I'm with you, there's no eyes on anyone else. But when I'm away from you, my eyes are anywhere. You're my dream girl. Aww. <laughs> Sheesh. You're going to make me blush. <laughs> I seriously didn't know it was a dirty mag. Honest. It's okay. I forgive you. Thank you. That said, can I keep it? Not a chance. <laughs> Interesting. Interesting conversation. Uh, we did the calling. Eldridge Mouth. This ritual will allow you to other unspeakable incantations. Perform this ritual someplace where gore can be cleaned up. Wear no robe or amulet. Have ritual knife. Good. Okay. Ritual knife. Hey, what did I just... No, uh... Uh, what? I didn't mean to click on that. Just that, right? Ritual knife and in the bathroom. Cool. I did too fast. Yeah, <laughs> scream! Crap. 
Still as unnerving as I remember. In this reality, this is just my hand now. Forever. Ah, it's such a nice day outside. It's a little dry for my liking, but we could totally have a date date. Yeah. Why don't you open your window? Let a little light in here? I don't know. Oh, no. No, wait. But what? What is it? Uh, you sure you want to do that? What do you mean? I mean, uh, don't you want to shower first before you go out like last time? Huh? Why would you suggest that? Oh, my God. Am I telling her that she smells? You smell like an octopus. Oh, no. Don't tell me. Do I still smell like the ocean? The ocean. Just a tad salty. Heavens below. I'm so sorry, darling. I'll be right back. No peeking by. I love you. Sweet. That was a close one. If she opened that window, Esther would have came. I would have been a goner. Looks like the clouds have cleared and Lynetta's out of the room. If I want to date Esther, it's, it's go time. Otherwise, if I want to stay with Lynetta, I need to make absolutely sure that that window never opens, ever. It's time to choose from this point on. My actions will have consequences. Should I do the masquerade? Should I do the masquerade? Uh, let's go. Oh, all right. Looks like everything is in place. I feel all gushied up like my eyes are bleeding even for me this outfit's pretty loud but even so the beauty of this whole ensemble is out of this world if Lynetta is showering here I better meet with Esther in the other room all I have to do is stand where the planet's light can reach me I already know what you're gonna say your highness yellow is more your color than mine but I still look pretty good, right? Clean up well. I'm impressed. You'd be presentable before my royal court in that. Mmm, really? It's a pretty snug fit. The mask almost feels alive. Like it's molding to fit my face perfectly. Quite the opposite, dearest. Your face is molding to fit the mask. Oh, that's weird. My face is transforming to fit in that mask? Ew. I feel a twist of metal digging into my temples. It's stuck to my face somehow. Ow, ow. I really won't. It really won't come off. <laughs> I may have failed to mention that we reenact the play with deadly accuracy. Oh, geez. From this point on in the play, your character never removes his mask. So neither shall you. Oh, my goodness. I can't be a two timer. <laughs> I can't go both. <laughs> this surely shouldn't be a problem for someone who is planning to be my eternal servant. Correct. That sucks. It is a problem for me. I can't even blink anymore. My eyelids are stretched to meet the, the indifferent metal of the whole eye holes. That is crazy. It the mask is holding my eyes open. The mask and your face have become one. Your every pore is now gilt and gold. Oh my god, this is terrible. That's terrible. Oh my goodness. Every pore now glit gilt with gold. I completely messed up anything with Lynetta with this. Oh my gosh. This is what? Do I have to wear this to work when I see family? When I see Lynetta? Wait a minute. Those strange people outside, they all had masks stuck to them too. Are they past followers who became Esther's servants? Is that going to be my fate? Okay, I got it. I got it. Masquerade's done. The king in yellow. Uh, setting interior, well lit. So turn on the lights. Wearing the robe of the mask. And let's turn on the lights.
<laughs> I can make her disappear. Oh my gosh. That's funny. Welcome company much cherished. May my loneliness thus perish. To this evening we shall share, which would be wasted by myself. No attendants have arrived tonight, alas, besides thyself. But I'll be beside myself when the king reveals himself. Lay thine hands upon my bodice, for before you stands a goddess. No, this guest of Goldenrod is merely the first of the night. <laughs> I like how all the other followers are just standing there staring. It's kind of creepy. <laughs> Great wealth and family and life lasting till your afterlife all be yours once he arrives. Oh, really, you'll be mine. Yes, until my schemes may flourish, we shall haunt my empty fortress. Let us dance a whirling der dervish while we feed our appetites. By the moral, we shall know if the king came tonight. Midnight marks the final chime. Until that comes, there is still time. Baby, graciously obeisance, demonstrate a courtly patience. He declines no invitation he receives upon his court. What a weird way to date. <laughs> All who live in doomed you till will know without report. The king arrived by your escort. A prophecy of grim import. A prophecy of grim import. Marvelous! Encore! Encore! <laughs> An immaculate performance, dearest! Bravissimo! Bravissimo! There's only one more scene to reenact, and then this world will be mine! Oh! Isn't this a dreamed up world, though? This is weird. I probably should have asked before we got to the final act, but this play isn't a tragedy, is it? Hilarious? It's so it's a comedy? Oh, that's an actual that's actually a huge relief. What happens? Your character is slain and all of his wishes come true in an unexpected way. You're gonna kill me? You're gonna kill me? In his ambitions of greed, influence, and fame, he dies penniless, alone, and infamous. How's that funny? Wait, my character dies? I'm going to die? I thought you said it was a comedy. Comedy is merely tragedy from far enough away, dearest. Oh my goodness. Is she implying that she thinks my death would be funny? I get that she's an outer god, so human morals don't really apply to her, but that's gotta be cruel even for her. No way can I go through with that. Sorry, I don't want to die again. I anticipated that you might get cold feet after learning of your character's fate. However, my wrath is terror far beyond a touch of stage fright. Her angry, pouty face is adorable. Oh my goodness. So, for your sake, dearest, do the f***ing scene. <laughs> Whoa, jeez. Oh. Oh. Retrieve ingredients from cold storage. Err. Like, this girl takes a while to shower. Okay, cold storage. I got it. Um, light the red candles. Allow the king into the room. Do not make a mistake or a hungry uninvited guest will arrive. So I got the ingredients. I can put that away. What is this one again? That's the medallion. What is this? The turtle, right? Oh, okay, let's do. Let's try. It. <laughs> what? Simply exquisite. Yes, I believe. This banquet will do nicely. I thought you were supposed to read that, Esther. 
The room is filled with mouth-watering aroma of perfectly seasoned meat and fresh fruit. There must be a magical component involved here because I see no less than three of my favorite dishes. Esther is shrugging towards my bed. Strutting, strutting towards my bed. Surely you don't intend to merely watch me eat, dearest. <laughs> that would be weird. That's a weird fetish. <laughs> I didn't think she was going to let me have any. Don't mind if I do. Uh, uh, uh. That's not what I meant. Instead of watching me eat this feast, you'll feed it to me. Oh. That's terrible. You're mocking me now. Three of my favorite dishes and you're eating it? That's messed up. What was that? It sounded like groans of murderous anger from outside the door. Was that from the mass stalkers outside? If they've all got masks on their faces, they must be Esther's followers or even ex-partners. Then their groans were of jealousy. Makes sense. They've been locked outside all this time. I bet they'd kill for a chance to spend any time with Esther. Just a moment, dearest. What is the thread count of your silken sheets? At least 1,000, I presume. That is such a weird question. Silk, my blankets are cotton. <sighs> Perhaps I'll just stand while you feed me instead. Oh, you don't want to lay in my bed? Lynetta was so much better than you. You're too arrogant. So picky. If she's that uppity, maybe I'll start with the grapes. Something that'll feed her princess complex. Uh, <laughs> mm, delightful. Oh. I'm glad. Another. Hey, think I could have one of these? <laughs> Dream on. My lips have already touched it. If you want an indirect kiss, you'll have to be more clever than that. Oh. Oh yeah, so you won't eat anything my lips have touched either. Of course not. <laughs> it's time to chow down before she gets to any of the food. You were eyeing this cream puff, right? Would you like me to feed you a bite? Oh, heavens below, yes. I am pleased by this new attitude of yours, dearest. I'm gonna chomp right into it. I casually take a bite out of the cream puff. Mmm, delicious. It's so good. I've never had anything like it. Let me try. Oh, oh, you want a bite even though my lips have touched it? I, I don't want it after all. <laughs> well, if you don't want it, then I guess I can have some now, right? Hey, hold on. Mmm, it's really delicious. Nothing tastes better than food with a twist of eldritch magics. It's a shame you don't want any of it. What's it going to be? Watch me eat your favorite dessert or suffer an indirect kiss? <laughs> Give me the cream puff. <laughs> What's what was that? I order you to hand over the cream puff. Oh. Very well, my king. I offer over the other half of the cream puff to her eager hands, but instead... Oh, she eats it directly from my hands. Very cute. I forgot I was hand feeding her. Her lips are insanely soft against my fingers. Oh, that smooch is going to be amazing. <laughs> She's so cute when she drops her sadistic front. I do more, but I feel those husks staring jealous daggers into my back. They'll tear my head off if I let this go on. Shouldn't we save some of this for the play? It'll hurt the performance if we eat the entire set, won't it? I suppose. I suppose. Very well. Let us resume the play. Let's resume! What do I have to do? No lights besides the open window. I, I presume the window's open still, right? Yep, okay. 
Yep, already have the robes in mass. What just happened? Bad end. What did I do wrong? Setting. Interior. I'm inside the interior. Wearing robes and mask. Yeah, I'm wearing the... Was it that? Okay, it was that. It must have been the milk. Name the night, and morrow's scornful. Wicked morning, unremorseful. Why tonight must I be mournful for ambitions unfulfilled? After all my preparations, all the daylights I have killed. Why is it us only still? Oh, why are my wishes unfulfilled? Host, the end is nigh. The end is nigh. What do I say next? Wretched guest, you've come to mock me for bemusement, thou waste. Hawking and so in the town you stalked me to watch my schemes fall apart. Strip thy mask, apologize, then hastily depart. Leave that thee just my broken heart. Leave not else in whole or part. I wear no mask, no witness, for it was thee who hast permit this golden guest to own the dimness of the city of Yatil. Oh, so, for I'm oh what the? Whose long shadows on your tail, and whose shadow you're in still. Oh my and god, that's terrifying. That is terrifying. Like. Oh my god, all the tortured souls and people that are under their dying ants in agony. Holy smokes. Urk, draw thy blade from my contrution. My life reaches its conclusion, cruelty matched by your delusion that you truly are the king. Yes, you would have granted all my wishes, not forsaken me. If indeed you were the king, why would you have murdered me? But I've granted all your wishes, I'm afraid I disagree. All alone you are with all of your remaining family. And as vision turns to darkness, you have claimed to all you see. And you'll wear that mask and robe for the rest of all your life indeed. Scary. And the strong will fall to illness, haunt you till with crypt-like stillness. And none left alive to witness my ascension to your till. And from the catacombs shall spill the cries of innocence laid still. He heard from lady and from smithy and from throne to peasant mill. Cries unprecedented in the history of Yatil. Wales unlike they'll ever be again in Dark Yatil. She has the longest part ever. That your invitations quill brought the king to Black Yatil. Black Yatil. Am I dead? Am I about to die? Bravo! Encore! My encore is. I'm gonna die. All right. Listen to that applause, dearest. The euphoria of a flawless recitation. Flawless. Innumerable, innumerable voices make up the cacophony of cheering outside my door. Fanatical reverie, screams of terror, and sadistic amusement all amidst thunderous applause. The king has come. You proud of yourself? How am I supposed to get a kiss if this mask is like stuck on my face? Why, why didn't you use a stage knife? I'm really bleeding out here. My blood streams from my gaping wound in my chest. My abdomen, abdomen 
is unseemed. To ensure you stay in character, call it method acting, if you will. Are you gonna heal me? Like, <laughs> oh, with sweet sorrow, the curtain falls, and the show begins. What show? The stage is now set for you to inscribe the yellow sign. Do this, and I will bestow upon you the smooch I promised. Two smooches. You mean the smooches you promise? Plural. You said you give me two. Even now, that's really all you can think about? Yes. Yes, even with this blade in my chest. Your world is about to be enslaved by a horror from beyond the stars. You're dying from a stab wound. And you're worried about smooches? Yes. You are an interesting human. It is a pity that you'll soon cast away your individuality for me. Oh, that kind of sucks. What's next? Yeah, she read all this. The yellow sign is only visible or drawable by those who have witnessed or performed the King in Yellow play. Being exposed to the yellow sign after witnessing or performing the play... The yellow, the king in yellow, will cause permanent, irreversible obsession with the king, her court, and Carcosa. The insane obsession persists after death. If you are content to spend the rest of your life with the king, dim all lights, leaving your window open, light the black fire candles. This will allow otherworldly images to reveal themselves. Draw the shape below without the X. Can I draw that? Am I able to draw that? Oh, wait, it said off or on? Dim all lights. Off. Off. All right, we're, I guess we're going to do this. Where do I draw it? Is that it? That's not it. There Behold, it is. The yellow sign. Become my slave, my eternal captive audience. Oh. I am entropy. Disorder. Where things are built tall, I appear to knock them down. Monuments. Nations. Okay. Relationships. Oh. So you tr you wanted to destroy my relationship with your sister. Some of these husks have wedding rings on their fingers. I steal the hearts and minds of the rich or powerful to break them. And litter my court with them like gold dust. They're all stabbed in their chest. But why me of all people? I'm broke. Because I am the breeze of chaos that knocks down any tower that challenges the grandness of my court. Your relationship with my sister was one of those things. Ooh. Before, I only pursued you because you have a great deal of cloud amongst the night-going crowd and shrewd wealthy types. Oh. So I was able to lead you to these people before. You would have been an incredibly powerful servant who would have been able to draw in countless wayward souls that meet my standards. Mm. At least, until that reality ended and you undid all of my hard work. Ha! <laughs> all oh. of my followers that I had stolen from Lynetta, gone in an instant. Oh, because the world no got destroyed. But to abandon that reality. There's nothing left to destroy if nothing exists, you see. But in this reality, I've stolen away her most powerful asset. You. Just as I've stolen every member of my entourage. She is truly devious. All the husks, they're bleeding from their chest onto their elegant robes. Just like me. All these people. Why? Why? Because it's what I do. Can I have my smooches? No, I mean, why are they still here? Aren't they kind of third wheeling our moment here? Kick them out. Huh? <laughs> Such a defiant tone. Why aren't you under the effects of the yellow sign? Oh, I, I still have my personality? That's great. Were you unaffected? Did, did the spell fail? I highly doubt it. It's, it probably worked, but I really want that smooch. I don't feel any different. You're supposed to be obsessed with me. Ah, I already was since I first saw you. That's why your little spell didn't work. Oh, it backfired. <laughs> it backfired because 
I'm already obsessed with you, my king. <laughs> Awkward, blushing gasp. You can try and resist it all you want, but one way or another, you're my eternal slave from now on. Oh, I am. And I still have my personalities, which is great. Are you proposing to me? I accept. No, dearest, I'm not talking about marriage. <laughs> what I'm talking about is catering to my every whim, anticipating my every desire, and living solely to please me. Sounds like marriage. Yeah, uh, that just sounds like marriage. No, I'm talking about a servitude where you do nothing but kiss the ground I walk on and revere me for all of time. A servitude unlike anything on earth, where you never so much as think of anyone else. Sounds like marriage. No, we have that on Earth, and it's called marriage. It's different! <laughs> it's not. <laughs> it's two! How so? It means no freedom, forever. You are only permitted to do as I say. <laughs> That's marriage. <laughs> yep. And it means preparing every single one of my meals for me, whenever I so wish. Okay. Yeah, for sure. And it means never being allowed to quit your servitude. You'll never be free of me so long as you live. Okay. Until death do us part, even. Exactly. <laughs> yeah, okay. I'm sorry, but you're literally just describing being married. I mean, hey, if that's what you want, then I'm in. Let's get married. <gasps> I just took the kiss from her. I don't even got the whole smooch hearts. I just took it from her. <laughs> I, I, I stole you away. I ruined your relationship with Lynetta. Did you now? I preferred you from the beginning. I already broke up with Lynetta in the other reality, actually. Why are you being so persistent? You can't really want to marry me that badly. Oh, yeah. <laughs> You're just trying to act all smooth, so I give you your second smooch. You promised. You did promise. Save it for our wedding day. Uh, you can't be serious, right? Oh my goodness. Oh, he was serious! King and white! Oh! Oh! That's, yes! <laughs> oh man, I did not see that coming, but that was amazing. Oh, the wedding bells ringing. Thank you so much, guys, for having joined me in Sucker for Love. And this time around, we got to actually marry uh, Eldridge. God. <laughs> so there's actually a lot more content in this game. So there could be a third, fourth, fifth episode. We'll see how everything goes. So with that said, no matter what your time zone may be, have a good morning, good afternoon, and good evening. Bye-bye.